Hello everybody, back here again for our vlog of day, and today is Saturday the 22nd, and today was a lovely, beautiful day outside, hot, uh, sunny, gorgeous, turned out to be a little bit rainy in the afternoon, but it didn't storm, it just had a nice drizzle, still raining actually tonight, um, went ahead, got this morning, um, woke up off and on a couple times throughout the night, didn't sleep real great, uh, went ahead and from there got up, I don't know, six, something like that, said it held it, got up. Dealt with the dogs and whatnot and stuff. I think that's nap. Decided to have myself a bowl of cereal, which I usually don't do. I'm not really a cereal kind of morning guy. Got that done. Karen was still sleeping pretty good off and on. She slept a couple more hours. Um, got up, got around a little bit. She had a, some cereal and stuff. We decided we was going to go do a uh, motorcycle ride before it got hot. Too bad in this net. Jumped on the bike, went run around, and just kind of doing nothing. Looking for some yard sales here and there and whatnot. Nothing really major hitting up. And basically, I kind of told him, like, it's your turn to tell me where to go. Like, I'm just driving. If you want to get your motorcycle license, you want to drive, I'll sit behind you and I'll tell you where to turn. And since you're passing, you get to tell me where to turn. So she started taking me down some different roads and blah, blah. Stumbled into a couple different um, open houses. Um, just accidentally kind of hang. Ironically, one of the agents that had it, we saw him last weekend at a $2.1 million house. And now we're looking at a, um, like, I don't know, 200 and, I don't know, it was like 290 or 300, I don't know, two, 209, I think it was, house. So two million dollar difference in house you know and the price and stuff so just kind of entertain ourselves and join it the house showed so bur oh the house was great everything was on point there was one tiny little spot that needed to be touched up in the woodworking but other than that it was a great house it's just the location sucks hoa the whole thing i'll never have hoa i don't care if it's, it's like it's only 54 dollars like i don't care if it's a dollar i'm not having hoa rules it's, i can't live in that world no backyard so to speak and stuff so not what we would want to live in but the house if we could pick it up drop in our place we we'd pay probably another 50 grand or so you know on top of it just having our location it's a great house very new very modern very beautiful house from there um, we left there headed over to uh, just driving on neighborhood saw a second um, open house in the same hoa area so not our house but show just as nice if not better probably a little better had twenty thousand dollars of upgrades in the house had its own private pool it's only one i think three of the houses in that neighborhood have a private pool um it's got a pool in the hoa which is where the 54 dollars mostly goes to but um, with COVID, nobody's really there. So the houses with pools have been selling really quickly. Beautiful little pool. It's like five and a half foot deep where so it's a nice deep pool. Um, you could dive in if you want to. You can't legally have a diving board nowadays and stuff. But you could move a box over and jump off if you wanted to. Um, nice little fountains popping into it and stuff. Enough room for a hot tub if you want to put in there. Also, great big screened in room. Had a giant um, 100, um, she said 125, it's 120 gallon um, fish tank built in the wall into the kitchen. It's actually the filters stuff at the back of the tanks in the master bedroom closet great setup beautiful set of stuff high-end um, nest um, thermostats ring doorbells everything's a beautiful place again we would easily with my wife wanting a pool and the pool's not on the screener and stuff we probably would pay probably pay 80 grand more and this house was not anywhere near you know the difference in the price and just i want my yard or location over that house kind of thing so she got to talk and we mentioned i said we might have in like five acres somewhere out of town that's that her and her husband are getting ready to list a five acre um, property in New Smyrna in town. One acre is buildable. The other um, four acres is what they consider, um, I don't know, she said it was. I can't remember what the hell land it is, but it has orange tree stuff going on. So it's actually would be buildable if a guy did some work, but it had to be resurveyed and reevaluated instead of blah, blah. But they want a hundred grand for the one acre lot where the house is, but I can buy the other four acres for 25 grand if I buy the one acre. So I God, I can't believe it. I've never I've never bought a house for more than one hundred and twenty five thousand dollars in my life. Let alone I, all my house I've bought in Iowa because real estate's a lot different pricing up there have cost me less than um, this house would cost if I add them all up together what I paid for them. I got some good deals on some houses, so that explains a lot of it. But I've sold them for more than that, but not bought them for more than that. Um, so I'd pay more money for an empty, just wooded lot than I would have ever paid for all the houses I've bought total so far in my life. And because this one my wife had bought prior to us being together, so we're paying it off the other stuff, but she bought it herself and beforehand. But um, that was just a weird feeling in the whole process. So I got to get out there and get to that with them again and um, get her to take a better look at it. So I actually so I wasn't 100% certain. I'm pretty, I'm like 98% certain I know exactly what I was looking at, but I didn't go on the property. So I want to get some, you know, hiking shoes on, hike around that five acres and kind of see where the house would need to set for surveyed and put it in septic and find a lot of those prices and stuff. And I think we're going to, I don't know. I got to really do some thinking. I don't know if I want to spend $125,000 on an empty lot and then try and build a house there. 
but that one acre would be big enough. I could put like our house and then maybe a couple tiny houses on it also for her dad and my mom kind of thing and stuff. So they kind of have their own separate living. They kind of have a communal area, like a big fire pit in the middle and, you know, maybe do like a screened in area, maybe throw a pool in there, who knows what kind of thing, kind of out like away from the house. So it's a little bit different, kind of like a communal like living area and then have our houses separately. So we don't know what we're going to do with that yet exactly. Plus they give us a couple rentals for like the, you know, tiny houses it once they're passed and stuff, we have some access there. And plus it have four acres of just backyard. How freaking awesome would that be? Unbuildable. So I own four acres around me. Nobody else is going to be building in that spot. And I think that's a brilliant idea. But $125,000 is a shitload of money to buy for some land that you can't afford to put a house on it anytime, you know, right away. So we'll see how it goes. Um, we got back here the house. We um, checked some dogs, kind of done a little bit of stuff. Um, did a little bit of stuff here and there. Been talking to a, a new friend we just met. Been talking online and stuff, chatting back and forth in the text. Uh, I was talking about she's going to come over this evening and try and hang out for the first time ever. Um, went for my run, got back. Her, she was supposed to, she thought she'd get off work at six originally, so I'd get off work at five. It was like seven something when she finally got off work. It was like super late. And she decided she still want to come down, so she came over, hung out, talked a little while, just hit it off. Just getting along great, or just having a great time. Just easy to talk to, fun, just, it just, we meshed. Like, got the jokes we could make fun of things and she was saying things that she's like oh my god i can't believe i told you that so i, I pulled out of people like I'm, I'm a weird therapist and she goes i don't tell people this stuff for like six months of knowing them i've known you for six minutes and here i'm telling you this stuff and we were laughing and joking and i said and karen's like that's his fault he does it to everybody it's fine and we got chatting and stuff and we came on the hot tub hung out here for a few hours um uh, just absolutely had a freaking blast great we're gonna hang out again hopefully made a new friend we can hang out with uh, go kayaking with you know, all that good fun stuff that we can do, which would be really cool as shit. So, had a great time. Um, we had leftover Sloppy Joes before she got here stuff, so we had a great little meal. And now I was out here, finished off my cigar before I head in and call it a night and wrap it up. So, that's all I got for right now. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe, wonderful day. Thanks for watching.